guys so dito na naman tayo after na na Qualcomm so proceed agad tayo sa qualifying written exam ni BFP so bago tayo magpatuloy um, basahin muna natin itong panibagong uh, timetable na ginawa ni uh, BFP so ito ay galing sa region 11 pero I think simultaneous naman lahat ng activities so Um, the same pa rin ito sa iba't ibang region natin so nandito yung schedule ng rating examination or way is on June 25, 2023 so marami yung nagtataka ano daw yung kaibahan ni rating exam at ni qualifying rating exam so uh, yung rating po is uh, walang passing score um, by ranking siya kung sino yung pinakamataas tapos yung highest noon halimbawa 90 siya yung magiging pasehan okay nang cream kasi yung cream is exempted sila sa pagtake ng written exam pero yung kanilang magiging score is yung median halimbawa 90 yung highest automatic na yung cream is uh, 45 yung kanilang score okay at ito nga pala is gagamitin para uh, for ranking purposes lang naman syempre di ba kasama ay yung um, pat ito written exam and yung panel interview okay isa ranking niyan so basahin natin to further be informed that as part of the hiring process a written examination shall be administered among qualified F01 applicants so na-upload natin to 22 so ngayon magpo-post na yung BFP Test question of the said examination shall be selected from the test bank prepared and maintained by the BFP in XQ Committee on Examiner. So, yung test paper na gagamitin natin is galing mismo sa national headquarters. Kung baga, ano kasi ito eh, national quota. So, simultaneous talaga lahat ng activities nila. The examination shall consist of 100 items lang naman. And 1 hour and 30 minutes yung ngayon time limit so parang meron lang tayong isa't lahating minuto sa bawat anong okay so dapat talaga bilisan pa natin furthermore course 1 to article 5 section 34 privileges oh, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina na um, according sa republic act uh, 11 also known as the philippine criminology Nation act so exempted na sila na mag take pero pwede rin, pwede rin naman silang mag-email na gusto nilang mag-take ng exam. In this regard, be informed that qualified if one applicants in the ongoing hiring process who are registered criminologists who will not take the upcoming written exam shall be given an automatic score in the median. So, ito na sinasabi natin kanina. Basing on the highest garnered score among the examiner. So, alibaw nito is 80 yung highest. Then, divide sa 2, yung median ng 80 is 40. So, yan na yung magiging um, score nung registered cream na uh, exempted na sa uh, pagtake ng kwe. Okay? So, yun na lang. Ano yun na natin. So, may mga nagtatanong ano ba daw sa region nila? Qualifying ba daw? Rating exam? Well, for that I don't know. Wala akong isang ano na sagot eh. Kasi iba't iba kasi yung post about sa qualifying and written. Yung sinasabi lang kasi doon is simultaneous yung pagkakandak. Uh, baka kasi most likely doon sa mga regions na napakarami nag-a-apply so baka qualifying kasi nag-aano sila um, oh, kinukuha nila agad yung karamihan para hindi na gaano karami yung makakaproceed ng ano lang naman eh ilan lang naman, din naman yung kota di ba pero hindi natin alam hindi ko alam mismo okay so with that proceed tayo sa ating uh, rationalizations actually nag-post tayo kanina ng test dun sa group so ginawa ko na lang uh, na-record ko na lang yung video since wala ako masyadong time para makapag-live na so good luck sana kahit paano makakatulong itong mga uh, ginagawa namin syempre ng grupo so proceed tayo dito una-una basahin muna natin yung mission ni BFP So, dapat memorize na natin to. We commit to prevent and suppress destructive fires, investigate its causes, enforce the fire code and other related laws, respond to man-made and natural disasters and other emergencies. So, ano ba itong fire code? 
Siyempre, yan yung 9514. Ano yung old file code? Yun yung PD1185. Ano naman itong mga other related laws? Um, PD1613. Diba? Ito yung laws on arson. Ano ba? Marami ba yan? Respond to man-made and natural disasters and other emergencies. Ano naman yung kanyang vision? A modern fire service fully capable of ensuring a fire safe nation by 2034. So, madili na yun, diba? Ito naman mga important names sa pag-a-apply natin. Dapat alam natin. Sino yung um, kasalukuyang Chief BFP? Si Fire Director Luis Puracan, CEO of SIX. Siyempre, President of the Philippines, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Senate President Juan Miguel F. Suviri, Speaker of the House, Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez. DLG Secretary natin, si Benjamin C. Abalos Jr. And yung Supreme Court Chief natin, si Alexander Gismundo. Okay. Mandates and Functions of the BFP. So, the Bureau of Fire Protection was created by the virtue of RA 6975. Ano nga yun? Yan yung DILG Act of 1990. Uh, primarily, to perform the following functions. First, be responsible for the prevention and suppression of all destructive fires on building, houses, and other structures, forest land, transport uh, forest, land transportation vehicles, and equipment, ships and vessels, dock at piers or wharves. So, tanan na, na dock at piers or wharves. So, yung mga wala na, na hindi na nakadak, yung nasa kalagitan na ng tubig, dagat, hindi na yun sakop na BFP. Uh, petroleum industry installations, plane crashes, and other similar activities. Uh, next, be responsible for the enforcement of fire code of the Philippines. Yun yung PD-1185, which is um, amended and nagkaroon na tayo ng bagong fire code which is yung Republic Act 9514 shall have the sole power ano yan? shall have the sole power to investigate all causes of fires and if necessary file the proper complaint with the city or provincial prosecutor who has jurisdiction over the case in the time of national emergency all elements of the BFP shall upon direction of the president assist the AFP in meeting the national emergencies so yan yung sinasabi natin kanina na in other emergencies dun sa mission niya next shall establish one fire station with adequate personnel firefighting facilities and equipment in every provincial capital city and municipality subject to standard rules and regulations as may be promulgated by DILG or section 56 so yan yung naga identify sa um PFP Section 56 Ito naman mga important laws on BFP We have 9514 Fire Code of the Philippines 11589 Ito yung BFP Modernization Act Bagong bago 675 The LG Act of 1990 9263 BG, uh, BFP and BGMP Professionalization, Professionalization Act of 2004 6713 Code of Ethical Standards 9485 Anti-Red Tape Act PD-1185 Yung Old Core Old Fire Code And PD-1613 naman Law on Arson so, Bilisin na natin Okay agad Number 1 agad Rationalization Number 1 A fatal behavior of fire That is characterized by a sudden And rapid Or violent burning of heated glasses In a confined area that occurs in the form of explosion due to improper ventilation. So, ano ba yung sagot dyan? Flash over, backdraft, dust explosion, arcing, or overload. So, syempre, sa mga nagka-take ng FOA dyan, matik naman na alam na natin, di ba? Fatal behavior, sudden and rapid uh, burning of heated glasses. So, automatic sagot natin dyan is backdraft. Okay? Ano ba yung flash over? Flash over yung rapid event involving a significant increase in fire growth and development. Diba? Rapid event. Yan. Uh, ito naman si Arsing. Ito yung electricity jumps from one connection to other. Kung baga, diba, ano ba tawag din? No? Yung, ano ba tawag dyan? Okay. Halimbawa, diba, mag, yung magpa-plug tayo ng wire dun sa um, live current, di ba? Kahit hindi pa natin um, dinidiin or hindi pa talaga nakasayad yung wire doon sa um, mismong plug, 
'di ba merong humihila or meron yung mga nagja-jump in na mga bolts or mga electric or mga current, 'di ba? Yan yung arcing. Kaya yung nagja-jump in yung uh, electric doon sa uh, mga metal na nakapaloob or nakapalapit doon. Okay? Next, it is the systematic removal of heated air, smoke and fire gases from a burning building and replacing the mid color air. So, matik na yan. Sagot natin is ventilation. Backdraft, ito yung sudden and rapid um, movement of burning heated glasses. Overhauling naman, ito yung rekindling. Yung after ng fire, the um, fire personnel um, searches the area if ever there are um, something that will ignite. Kaya yung mga mag-rekindle ulit na magkaroon ulit ng apoy. So, yan yung overhauling. Next, number three. The DIGLG shall establish a system of promotion for the uniform personnel of the BFP. So, what is the general basis for promotion of a BFP personnel? Ay, palakasan system, backer system, performance evaluation, pwede, merit and fitness, award and commendations, or attrition system. So, automatic ang sagot natin is letter C po merit and fitness yung um, general basis ng promotion ng BFP personnel so next number 4 before a fire safety inspector or FSI will inspect a certain establishment what documents should be issued by the city or municipal fire marshal authorizing the former to perform the said function ano ba? Um, travel order, mission, inspection um, FSEC or FSIC so, yung IPSEC po, ito, ito yung prerequisite sa pagkuha ng building permit. Ito, building permit. Sulat natin. Building permit. Habang ito naman si inspection certificate, ito yung pagkuha ng occupancy permit. So, alin ba yung nauuna? Siyempre, nauuna si Fire Safety Evaluation Clearance kasi inspection. Kasi si inspection is occupancy permit na. Pero dito, ang sagot natin, inspection order. Uh, document should be issued by the city municipal fire marshal. Inspection order yan. Number five, a type of report accomplished within 7 to 15 days from the date of accident. Ano ba yan? Spot, final, fire incident, progress or mid investigation report. 7 to 15 days automatic ang sagot natin dyan is progress investigation report si spot investigation 24 hours okay si final investigation naman nasa 30 to 45 days yan si fire incident investigation report undetermined yung wala hindi nila talaga alam Progress investigation, 7 to 15 days. So, then, okay, and wala pong mid-investigation report. So, panira ng, ng moment lang yan. Next, what are the four elements of fire tetrahedron? So, ano daw yung uh, four elements ng fire tetrahedron? Diba, ito yung fire triangle. Ano ba yung laman ng fire triangle? Meron tayong heat fuel and oxygen. Okay? Tapos, pagdating ng um, kalaunan, nagiging fire tetrahedon na, nagawa is naglagay tayo ng chemical reaction. CR. Yun na sana natin. So, sagot natin is oxygen, fuel, heat, and self-sustained chemical reaction. So, number 6, correct answer is letter A. Number 7, this act shall be known as the Bureau of Fire Protection and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology Professionalization Act of 2004. Ano yun sa kat? 6975, 9263, 9514, 8551, or 6713. Hindi pa natin. 6713, 6713, ito yung ethical standards. Okay? Code of Conduct. Tulad tala natin. Hindi na tayo Medyo hectic yung schedule. So, 8551, ito naman yung PNP um, reform. 
ayan na 9514 ito yung fire code Nine two six three. Ito yung sagot. BFP and professionalization act. Okay. Tapo ba nito? And sixteen and seventy-five. Simply, yan yung DALG act of nineteen ninety. Kung saan Dahil sa um, 675 Nag-create yung uh, Separate na yung BFP BJMP And PNP So dati kasi PC Or Philippine Consabulary HNP Nandun lang lahat Nandun si um, Fire Nandun din si BJMP So pagdating ni Corey Aquino So ginawa nila Yung Tri-Bureau So Correct answer For number 7 is Letter V 9263 Next, it is a class of fuel that consists of flammable liquids such as alcohol, acidic solutions, oil, and other chemicals such as those liquid petroleum products. It has a class symbol of red square and can be extinguished by foam. So, ano yung sagot dyan? And define natin, class A, ito yung mga ordinary combustible. Okay? Class B naman, ito yung sagot. Class B, flammable fluids yan. Flammable liquids. Okay, pasensya na sa ano natin. Class C, ano ba yan? Ito yung mga electrical equipments. So, dapat memorize nyo na ito. Kasi sobrang basic lang din naman na eh. For sure, refresh lang din sa inyo ito. So, doon sa mga wala pa masyadong idea sa kwe or sa mga backgrounds ng fire. So, mas maigi mag-aaral kayo. Class D naman, ito yung mga metal and alloys. Kagaya ng mag, uh, magnesium, ganun. Class K, ito yung mga cooking fuels. Bago pa kasi itong class K. Wala naman to dati. So, cooking fuels. And meron tayong hindi na nabanggit Yung class A Or yung mga high voltage Ah, ito na lang Yung LPG class A Yan So, ang sagot natin dito is Letter V for number 8 Number 9 It is any condition or act Which increases or may cause An increase in the probability Of time the occurrence of fire or which may obstruct, delay, hinder or interfere with firefighting operations and the safeguarding of life and property. So, ano yung sagot? Fire hazard, fire alarm, fire risk, fire safety or fire trap. So, yung fire alarm, guys, ito yung mga set of device na nag-a-alarm sa mga tao. Okay, nag-detect ng mga smoke, ganun. Ito yung nag-a-alert sa mga tao. Fire risk naman, ito yung likelihood that a fire may occur diba? fire risk meaning delikado or meaning risk, risk ko siya sa mga fire na maaring nang dahil dyan sa lugar na yan uh, mataas yung possibility na magkakaroon ng fire so dito ang correct answer for number 9 is fire hazard po condition or act which increases or may cause an increase in the occurrence of fire which may obstruct delay hinder or interfere firefighting operations and safeguarding of life property. So, fire trap, walang takas yan. Trap sila sa fire, walang masyadong exit. Ganun. Number 10, it is the high, it is the heat and light that comes from burning substances produced by combustion of substances. So, automatic sagot natin is fire. So, ano pa yung definition ng fire according sa fire code? Yan yung active principle of burning. So, mataas yan eh. Active principle of burning characterized by heat and light of combustion. So, automatic fire din yan. So, si flame, ito yung um, luminous body of burning glasses. Luminous body. Okay. Si heat naman, di ba? Ito yung responsible sa ignition ng fire. Heat. Best 
responsible ignition of fire so for number 11 what is the law that created the BFP which is under the Department of Interior and Local Government or the ALG automatic sa kodatin dyan is 6975 I think nasa section 53 or 54 yun uh, 8551 PNP and Reform Regarding Session Act 9263 Professional Session Act 9592 ito yung 5 years reglementary period PD1613 Arson A high-rise building So, automatic na yan eh Refresh na lang yan A high-rise building Automatic 15 meters For number 12 Literacy yung correct answer natin For number 13 It is a type of flexible tube Used by a fire artist So, flexible tube Automatic fire hose na yan Okay Number 14 It is a cause of fire Which uh, in which the probing cause does not involve any deliberate human act to ignite or spread the fire natural cause ba? accidental, incendiary, intentional, or fire hazard so correct answer natin for number 14 is letter B po, accidental does not involve any deliberate human act si natural cause naman without human intervention to okay Si incendiary cause naman Ito yung deliberately Ignited Or kumaga sinadya Or intentional Okay, walang intentional So, fire hazard yun yun Kanina, di ba? Next, how many liters Is the liquid capacity of 1 drum? 227 liters po Yung 1 drum Laman niya So, number 15 is liter V Number 16 who is the current BFP chief? So, Director Louis is Puracan po. Si Binamin Abalos, siya yung DILG sec. Si Accorda PNP chief. So, uh, Eduardo Anyo siya yung pinalitan ni Abalos. So, lalabas to sa exam si Abalos. For this one, correct answer natin is Director Louis is Puracan. Purakan po, hindi purukan Number 17, he is the Secretary of the DILG so, Automatic, sagot is Secretary Binamin Abalos, Junior Current house speaker naman natin Si Ferdinand Trumwaldes Okay Number 18 is letter D Next question, number 19 It is the Bureau of Fire Protection Modernization Act So, automatic, sagot natin for number 19 is Ito Letter V po RA11589 So si 11549 naman Ito yung Ano ba to? Height Equity Act Equity Act 11200 naman Ito yung rank classification Ng PNB 11934 Ito yung SIM Registration Act Ano ba ba? 11.534 Ito yung comprehensive Tax reform program So, kaya na bahala mag-intindi niyan Next, number 20 Fire Prevention Month is celebrated every March po Yung Augusto Ano ba yun? Ang meron sa Augusto is Yan yung Founding anniversary ni BFP December 14 naman yung recognition June 12, Independence Day natin Independence Day And June 4 naman Ito yung original na Independence Day Kasi pagkalaya natin sa mga pawn Pero pagdating ni Sino ba nag-declare nito I think si Diosdado Makapagal Binalik niya sa June 12 Kung saan yun yung panahon na si General Emilio Aguinaldo yung nagsagisag ng 
matakot ng Pilipinas. So, Fire Prevention Month is every March kasi during that time, during that month, um, there are many occurrences of fire happened in the Philippines. Next, which of the following has the sole power to try and decide all cases of impeachment? Okay, so for number 21, correct answer natin is letter A po. Sisinit yung sole power to try and decide all cases of impeachment. Ombudsman, ito yung investigate complaints, lalo na yung mga graph of corruption sa mga government officials. Sandigan Bayan naman, ito yung court kay kung saan dinadala ni Ombudsman kung saan nila nililitis yung mga um, kaso na nanggaling sa Ombudsman yung mga graph and corruption ng mga public officials Congress naman binubuo siya ng Senate and House of Representatives Supreme Court, iyan naman yung sa legis- uh, judiciary natin. Um, Next, which has the sole power to initiate all cases of infringement against the President of the Philippines Number 22 Okay, ang sagot dyan is House of Representatives Okay Initiate all cases House of Representatives Sole power to try and decide Senate ah, Tapos sa'yo natin Supreme Court Siya yung sole judge of the electoral disputes Involving the President, elect and Vice President uh, Legislator Exclusive and power to initiate all cases of impeachment under the 1907 Constitution. So, ano ba yung legislator na yan? Siya yung Congress. Okay. Si Senate Sol um, ano ba yan? Si Senate yung Sol Power to Try and Decide. Okay. Under sila ng Congress. Ha? Under ni Congress si Senate and House of Representatives. Okay. Kapag Congress kasi inisip, inisip agad natin ano na eh, congressman, hindi po Congress, belong dyan si Senate and si House of Representatives si Senate, sila yung um, soul to soul power to try and decide si House Representatives naman siya yung initiate all cases of impeachment, impeachment. Senate, soul power to try and decide all cases of impeachment Bill of Rights, Declaration and Enumeration of the Individual Rights and Privileges which is the Constitution is designed to protect against violations by the government groups. Equal protection of law it signifies that all persons subject to legislation shall, ha- shall be treated alike under like circumstances and conditions both in the privileges conferred and liabilities imposed. Accountability, it sits down in an equivocal, equivocal terms the mandate that all government officials and employees shall be at all times be unsearable for their misconduct to the people. Accountability, accountable. Pag nandyan ka sa government, is, uh, bilang government employee or public officials, it means that you are accountable of what you've been doing. Okay? Mostly in your job. Judicial powers Power to apply the laws Contest or disputes Yung sana yung legally reconcern, Recognized rights or duties So dyan is yung um, Supreme Court natin Sa kanila yan Judiciary And ba diba yung Legislative Congress Yung Executive President Power of Taxation power of the state to impose charge or burden upon persons police power power of the state to enact laws or regulations tapos yung eminent domain naman yun yung um, by just compensation use of private property by paying just compensation tato yan eh powers power of taxation police power and power of eminent domain isa na natin Yan. Social and economic rights They are the rights intended to ensure Well-being and economic security of the individual Civil rights They are the rights of the citizens Which the law will enforce at the instant of private individuals For the purpose of securing their enjoyment Of their means of happiness 
political rights they are the rights of citizens which give them the power to participate directly or indirectly in the establishment of administration of the government the right of suffrage diba? and information on matters of public concern so balik tayo number 23 what is recognized by the state as the foundation of the nation foundation of the nation family barangay community citizens or voters Okay, sagot natin for number 23 is letter A po, family. Si Barangay, siya yung um, basic political unit. Okay? Barangay yan. Number 24. This includes elective and appointed, uh, appointed officials and employees, permanent or temporary. So, nandiyan doon ito sa 6, 7, 13. Whether in the career or non-career service, including military and police personnel, whether or not they receive compensation, regardless of amount. So, ang sagot natin for number 24 is letter B po, public official. Okay? Number 25, what project of the DNR includes in the protection of industrial pollution of our environment? Manday kalikasan, manday ilog, ecological wa- watch, solid waste management, or none of the above. So, for number 25, sagot natin is letter D po. Solid Waste Management or yung RA9003. Tama ba? Correct nyo na lang. Pero, oh, 9003 nga. Yan. Next, number 26. The Republic Act 1113 or the Safe Species Act which covers all the forms of gender-based sexual harassment committed in public spaces, educational or training institutions, Workplace and online space is also known as ano yun? Okay, Bawal Bastos Law or the Safe Spaces Act. So, patawid pamilyang Pilipino program, ito yung purpose which is RA 11310. Magna Carta for Women, ito yung RA 9710. Bayanihan to recover as one act diba? Ito yung panangga natin sa COVID During that time So, yan yung RA 11-4947 Mura sa atin yan Since um, Isa tayo dyan sa mga frontline Number 27 It's an act instituting universal health care For all Filipinos Prescribing reforms in the healthcare systems And appropriating funds thereof Sugot natin for number 27 Matic yan Universal health care so, nandiyan na nga eh. Universal Healthcare for All Filipinos Next, number 28 and 29 This arises when a public official So, arises Keyword na agad eh Employee as a member of a board Or board and office Or a substantial stockholder Of a private corporation Or owner Or has a substantial interest In the business And the interest Of such corporation Or business Or his rights Or duties and may be opposed to or affected by the fitful fitful performance of official duty. So, ito ang sagot natin is conflict of interest. Ayan. Double geopardy, ito yung um, a person, if sabihin nito is a person cannot, um, cannot be charged with, with the same identical crime. Double geopardy yan. Um, grave misconduct, ito naman yung mga sinadya or grave misconduct ha? Uh, gross negligence by a public officer Ito yung mga wistful uh, Willful misconduct pala So the abasement Yan naman yung transfer Or disposal of interest and property The abasement So correct answer for number 28 is letter A For number 29 The legislative power of the government Shall be bested to 29 legislative power natin Congress okay. President Executive Supreme Court naman Judiciary okay. Congress is legislative Number 30 um, The right of private individuals to secure for themselves the enjoyment of their means of happiness such as the right to a name, the right to form a family So na-discuss natin ito kanina I mean, uh, basa natin ito kanina, di ba? Number 30, civil rights Correct answer natin uh, number 31 It is the power of the electorate So ito, lumalabas to 
to approve or reject a legislation through an election called for the purpose. Ano yung sagot natin dyan? Power of the electorate to approve or reject a legislation through an election called for the purpose. Referendum yan, guys. Tanda natin yan, ha? Yung malabas yan. Next, it is the electoral process by which an initiative on the constitution is either approved or rejected by the people by the people plebiscite matik yan what is regarded by the state is the primary social economic force labor okay social economic force labor rejected by the people plebiscite yung referendum um, through an election called for the purpose referendum okay Registered by the people, approved registered by the people, plebiscite, primary social economic force, labor. Number 34 and 35. It is an act of sovereign power granting oblivion or general pardon for a past offense. Okay, amnesty. Okay, granted favor to certain classes of persons who have committed crimes of political character, such as characters as uh, treason, sedition, and rebellion. So, ibinigibigyan uh, sila ng amnesty. Example natin dyan is si... Uh, Senator Trillanes which is um, nabigyan siya ng amnesty during I think kay President Pinoy yun number 35 it is the power of the President to postpone the election ano ba yan reprieve number 35 okay break cancer natin dyan where number 35 is reprieve number 36 Okay, pardon Explain muna natin to. Pardon Ito yung um, Conditional exemption Okay Pinapalaya sila Binigyan agad sila ng pardon In-explain agad sila dun sa Kanilang nagawa Pardon yon. So Next number 36 A police officer Who just arrested As expected, there place a placard on the thief chest which reads, Don't imitate me, I am a thief. Which of the following rights of the accord is violated? So, ano daw yung na, uh, rights na nabiolate ni mamang police? Right to self-incrimination, remain silent, resist arrest, right to counsel, or none of the above. So, for number 36, right to counsel po. 37. The right that guarantees similar treatment to all persons similarly similarly situated and precludes arbitrary or unjust discrimination to secure and safeguard such right is called ano, number 37. Equal protection of the law. Okay? Number 38. The obligation of government officials and employees to be at all time be accountable to the people. Diba? Yan yung binanggit na kanina. And shall discharge their duties with utmost responsibility. Integrity, competence, and loyalty, acquit patriotism, justice, lead modest lives, and uphold interest over professional interest is what? Public service. Yan. Number 38. Okay? 39 and 40. Last number to. Free voluntarily service refers to service rendered by civil, uh, by civil servants without compensation. Free voluntary service. Walang compensation. Yan. Compensation, it means yan yung pagbigay sa ng counting um, by a compensate. Number 40, which norm of conduct is described by the statement public officials and employees shall and their families shall lead modest lives appropriate for their positions and um, simple living po. For number 40. Okay? So, I think that's it. Yan na lang. So, uh, ulitin na natin ito. Pag sinabi yung pardon po, kasi lumulabas yung pardon. Pardon, conditional exemptions. Uh, ano pa ba? Parole. Parole yung conditional release. Amnesty naman, yun yung granted by the government, especially the president, to a person who have been guilty of treason, rebellion, yan yung amnesty. Initiative process by where the people directly propose or enact law. Plebiscite, ano yun, appro uh, approve or reject by the people. Ano ba ba? Referendum, call for a purpose. Saan ba yung referendum dito? Election, called for a purpose. Okay? 
Congratulations, Gold Brothers. So, I think that's it. Guys, so thank you so much for staying sa pakikinig. And Okay, sana kahit papaano nakatulong din sa inyo. Thank you and good luck.